Hello, Internet friends. My name is Bay. This is my forehead in a purple shirt, and this is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, but I'm bad. A light commentary playthrough, or I don't talk as much. I'll let the game do the talking for me, but if you want some more talking, I've got a whole bunch of other playlists, like all three Dark Souls, and Bloodborne, and both God of Wars, and both Jedi games, and Super Mario RPG, the remake on the Nintendo Switch, and all of Remake, and a whole bunch of stuff. A bunch of Final Fantasy XIV videos, if you want more stuff. But right now, let us continue. Huh? Cloud? Billy? What are you doing out here? Um, I haven't had much luck at the racetrack lately. Not the good kind, that's for sure. So I came here to train. Train? Here? You don't know where you are? This is the home of THE Chocobo Sage, a living legend! Surely you've heard of the man. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Did someone say living legend? <coughs> you okay, sir? <laughs> <sighs> I am now. Thought I was a goner. Huh? Mind telling me who you are? They don't get many visitors out here in the boonies. Uh, this is Cloud. He's a jockey for Gramps' ranch. Oh, he is, huh? Perfect. Billy here needs some help. He can pick up the poor boy's slack. There's this big race at the saucer, the Gold Cup, and it's coming up soon. We gotta get in on that, so I came here to bone up. I'm learning all sorts of stuff. See? Hey, tell me you're not buying this choco dung. Picking garbage out of a pool isn't training, it's manual labor. You see it too, right? Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna give you. It is pretty weird. So weird. Come on, he's just jerking you around. I suppose I haven't done much to pick up after him. If you can flap your gums, you can move your gams. Now get on back to your training. Sorry! As for you, I know just the thing. One of my chocobos ran off when we put her out to pasture. Need you to find her. Bring her back. You're asking me? Her name is Selena. Ain't your normal chocobo, neither. Loves the ocean more than home. The way she makes rolling waves look like solid ground. No wonder she thinks she's the bee's knees. Please, Cloud, would you mind? Just think of it as a favor for me. <laughs> You've got a gift for wrangling the wild ones. A bird that runs on water? I already found him. There you are, Selena. Well, yeah. I underestimated you. Takes real skill to tame this girl. Skills like those of... Hold on. I know this. I do. Why can't I remember? Oh, damn it! This is gonna bother me all day. Oh. Aha! There we go. It was Sam and Will. What? They were far what? and away my best disciples. As I was saying, you, Cloud, you may well become as talented a trainer as them one day. <laughs> Did I hear you right? <laughs> Sam, you gotta tell me everything you know about him. You're gonna give me whiplash, son. That his father? <laughs> the Sam guy you taught. You mean Chocobo Sam out of Midgar? I do, but why do you want to know? Because me and him, we got history. You see, I'm Will's son. Yeah, well, Sam's don't responsible that for the death. All. I'll never forget those two. They had such a powerful passion and an eagerness to learn, too. Everything they did was for the birds. That's not the Sam I know. Sam's a demon. <laughs> he led my parents to an early grave, got them hooked on gambling, pushed them to rack up tons of debt, and then... Eh, that don't sound like him to me. You sure you ain't got your Sams mixed up? It's a common name, you know. Only one Sam in this business. 
I swore that I'd humiliate him by winning the gold cup, destroy his reputation, and I'd at least have some kind of revenge for what that bastard did to my parents. Hmm. Now that that's out of your system, back to it. <laughs> Excuse me? You heard me. Thought you came out here to learn about chocobos, not to get revenge. Uh... Cloud, for your next task, I'll need you to take Selena and gather choco grass, which so happens to grow above bodies of water. Are you kidding me? This fossil's trying to get us to do his dirty work again? <laughs> choco grass is a genuine panacea. I kid you not, it'll cure whatever ails you, and then some. And once I am cured, maybe I'll be inclined to share more stories about the good old days. <sighs> He's obviously full of it. If not for him, then please do it for me. I need to know what happened to my dad. <sighs> okay. When I said it grows above water, I meant above. Yep. It's called the floating flower, because it grows in the air. But with an ocean chocobo, you can harvest the stuff with ease. 30 tufts ought to do. Best I wonder how many I already have. Cloud, you don't want my death on your hands, do you? <laughs> do I already have enough? Wait, have I gathered 44 or have I gathered 30 of 44? I have gathered 44. Really? I thought I had like 20 or something. I guess I have 44 of 30. Unless the UI is dumb. Yeah, it's usually have and need. Yeah. Pretty, pretty, yeah, often. What you have on top, what you need below. Sage is going to be real pleased. Oh, you get your hands on that choco grass. Yeah, I have 44. Oh my god. Some folks also call it the floating flower. They don't mean it metaphorically. It really floats above water. Makes it hard to get to. With Selena, though, you'll glide over that water with the greatest of ease. Well, well, if it ain't my beloved choco grass. This stuff can be one hell of a hassle to gather. Thank goodness I had you to get it for me. Okay, so what are you going to do with it? <laughs> I suppose you've earned the right to know. First, I take this bluff, mix it with some chocobo feathers, and let it ferment. Once it's dry, I boil it all down. Then I squeeze it all out and voila, my patented choco tincture. That's some kind of magic medicine? Oh no, just a little fun. This wrinkly, cheeky old... <laughs> Speaking of grass, if you've got some extra tufts on hand, would you mind sharing them with my assistant at the shop? I promise I'll make it worth your while. Please, tell me about my father. Hold your chocobo, son. There's still one thing you need to do for me first. What a surprise. This geezer isn't going to tell you Jack. Face it, kid. <laughs> you got a lot of nerve. Casting aspersions. After all the wisdom I've shared. All the what now? So you haven't realized you've been training this whole time? Tracking down Selena forced you to get in touch with a chocobo's feelings. And all that running across the water you did helped hone your sense of balance and your bird handling. Key skills for any aspiring jockey. What do you say, Cloud? 
Bet you feel like a real choco pro by now. Can't say I do. Sounds to me like you need more training. Reckon we ought to add one more item to your regimen. Think of it as a final trial of sorts. Oh, give me a break. Don't go changing the subject here, Gramps. We're not doing your stupid trial. No, it's fine. I'll do it. Hmm. Then it's settled. I'll be your opponent. Oh. And dear Selena will be your steed. If Cloud wins, does that mean you'll finally tell me about my dad? You've got a deal. But know that I won't be pulling any punches out there. When you're ready, give me a holler and we can hit the track. Good God. That's a lot of story all of a sudden. We can get changed here? No, we cannot. What? Why? This, what a tease. Oh, hello. You got any choco grass for me? Thanks. If you find any more, I'll be here. Now, how about plumes? Oh, 50. You get the Yaller horn and a cleansing materia earring. Ooh. Hmm. Otherworldly crystal. The heck is that? Ooh. Is that the one that reduces all elemental damage taken? You just buy Beast Hide. Expensive though. Well, I guess these are the only the six regions. The UI is full now. I'm assuming the next chunks of the game won't be. They'll just be story. Uh oh. Getting closer to the end. You get a rocket launcher. Impressive. Well, no, it's a horn. Like literally, like a a, a megaphone horn. And so I need six more. They're just around the world. I can go. Pick them all up. I know the sage is a bit of a handful, but stick with it, okay? It'll all pay off in the end. I promise. Okay, fortification earring, empowerment earrings. Put that on Tifa instead of the strength, I wonder. Yeah, reduces the oh this is the reduced duration of detrimental status effects. Not the one that reduces all elemental damage taken. This is our next level up. I think it was X potion. 30. 30 oregano per and 30 of the Saint Lausch leaves. You got any choco? Now how about plumes? Do 
lashes the uh, rare material so we can't uh Want to at least make one. Good luck out there. I think like it's cheaper once you make it. Oh, I was gonna check and see. Is that? Cloud upgrade, or does he have six? He has six, yeah. It's an upgrade, but he loses a material slot. I am definitely taking a lot of damage because I am erring towards more materia right now instead of more tankiness. Let's get it, Selena. Hell yeah. <laughs> I wonder what the actual Chocobo racing stats are on this. It's dinosaur armor. for the pile. <laughs> okay, Chadley. Oh, um, Cloud. Have you come to brush up on your bird handling? As soon as I heard the legendary Chocobo Sage was here, I knew I had to come. I was surprised to see a recluse residing in such luxury. Yep. Even hermits enjoy a dip in the pool. dark side would work on Tifa. I wonder if she would just basically blow herself up. She would take 5% of her HP every single time she used an ability. Just have to counter it with regen and... Hmm. I feel like I should get Comet and start leveling it up. zone to get the rest of the intel i look forward to seeing what new discoveries you make in your travels this may be a little on the nose yeah and see even kate was wearing the tankier bracer he was still getting his butt kicked Thing is, Comet is not, not an aspected type. But does Comet double cast inside of her ward? That would be awesome.
Oh, they are weapon levels. So close. They both just hit seven. Why did they hit seven before anyone else? I guess he just got more during his solo quest and Yuffie for some reason. Wow, even more synergy stacking. Cloud, Odin, the noble knight, I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia. Yes. Let's just do minus one. So you don't want to get hit by a lot of abilities of the wise he'll act that's when he pulls out zen tetsuken wait he didn't we didn't get hit by anything Taking too many of his attacks, I took one and then he immediately sounded Galahorn's warning. Okay. So I just can't get hit ever? I mean, the time it took me to build two ATB, I got hit once, and then he one shots two people in the park. Oh, I got hit once. I guess we're all dead. Thanks. Ready? Yeah, 
liquid ATV is this gone, did I? <laughs> Hitboxes, man. I guess we're dead again. I just can't get hit ever. If I get hit, I have to restart. Is that the challenge? That's the whole thing? It's kind of lame. Like, I'm slamming ATB into him and he's just like, eh. No, oh, restart. did dodge roll, but I was dodge rolled by a second too late or early. I don't know. I really miss Deadly Dodge. <sighs> you serious game? Everything is just heat seeking, I guess. It's like a hit scan. What the hell, man? Come on. You ready? <laughs> I gotta put ATB assist on. All right. So from Vincent Ford, the game is that everything destroys you. You can't get hit ever. Perhaps you're having an off day. Nope. I can't help. Please, I wish you talk less. Um. Very steep, sudden curve in this game. purple
Hello, Teddy. Hello. But wonder where we'll meet next. So many fascinating possibilities. Your efforts have yielded. Perhaps you would like to use it to develop materia? Don't under Taking too many attacks leads to disheartened, leading into sound Gallahorn's warning. So even blocking? <sighs> Apparently even blocking. Pointless. Oh, he could just leave? I guess he can just leave. Oh. 
How are you supposed to know that? Okay. See you, Kate Sith, I guess. One more shot. Get him. Okay, up and at him. I guess we're all dead again. Just a little. You can do it. I got it. annoying so can't get hit can't even block trying to dodge things that are more or less hit scan cut the room in half and because we were getting hit by that then he Zantetsukins okay Because they're still going to get hit by stuff because they're going to be blocking most of the time. Dude, I'm literally like going ham and he still does warning. I need to cannot get away from that. You have to, I guess I just have to parry. Loving these hit scans that happen in there. milliseconds. How am I gonna respond? Stop it! Everything's spinning. This one's for you. What the like how I parried it, then still took damage. The hell's the point? I got the immune and then still got hit. I can't build ATB and we're dead.
All right, I'm moving on because uh, I don't care anymore and I don't want to just put it down into tier three, uh, minus three for the Odin fight. I looked up some suggestions and it would require essentially changing up a ton of materia and weapons and my entire party understanding of how to do the fight, at least the some of the suggested oriented stuff about how the fight works. Um, it is definitely not what I expected and I will work on it later. But uh, uh, huge snore energy, not not a fan of that fight at all. So let's just do. The oh, what the? Let's just do the other combat sims. I just don't have time to sit here and, and wipe on a boss for hours. I think I've made up my mind that I need to change Aerith's entire build and she needs speed. I'm tired of her taking like six attack cycles for one ATB. This is a wipe. I can't hit this guy. Cloud literally can't hit these guys and I can't build ATB. You're dead. Ah! 
When did it say it was casting? Dude, I... On you. I'll show you what I can do. This one's for you. Get him. I just cured her. She had zero petrify. It takes time to stack. And then all of a sudden she's just fully petrified from zero. <laughs> Dude, the, the sudden ramp in difficulty at the end of this chapter is immense and very yeah. sudden. This is a regular combat challenge, but two of these special jellyfishes that you can barely ever attack that spam petrify and interrupts I just removed that from her and then petrified full. All right, well, if that's the case. I don't know why Cloud can't hit these things. Don't overdo it. How about you? So it's my turn? Go on! One more shot! It takes so long for her to build ATB. It is insane. Why does that hit, but not actual cast? Yeah. <laughs> 
Just like that, okay? Okay. Vitality to spirit and vice versa. I guess it's just to move around your physical and magic defense. Very specific considering it's a single materia to do that. I don't think you'll get any extras. Another AP up though. Hmm. This is gonna be the like the zoo and the demon things, yeah. Still gonna hit me? I don't think so.
Probably the chunky boy first in this Come case. This guy. Bro. All this like interrupted out of the air crap. Oh, can their jaw not be broken in this? K dive kick? Good lord. I was combining both of her both of her buffs. But not my best. I need to work on Aerith's build. She needs speed. Her speed set is so low now. It's just hard to reliably use her unless you actually are playing as her. But then she's so hard to avoid any damage because she's not mobile. But then if she takes damage, you have to use her ATB or trying to build other people on her. So I gotta, I gotta, and she might be better used to get some more speed in there material wise and the item. Five rounder. Hmm. Hmm.
I guess these were in the region. Blew up there at the end. See if Comet double cast. Ready? That's it. Sorry about that. This one. Go on. Who needs more magic. Okay. It does. Not really great single target damage. Pretty crazy AoE though. But it does double cast. No. Something really starting to get on my nerves in this game is how many times you just get interrupted from off screen. See, off screen. So it's my turn. Anytime, crushed it. Go on, busy. Someone looks kind of shaky. Get ready. That'll do. Get him. Sorry about that. I'd keep my distance if I were you. That was the wrong button. Go on. Why don't you lead the way? Well, damn time. Special delivery. Didn't think it would take that much damage. I was gonna save clouds ETB, but didn't matter. Let's go. Didn't know if that'd just be like the flying enemies on that one, but I guess it doesn't matter. Another time materia. Okay. Now. Enemy skill Gorgon Shield. This is going to be the big Gorgon chunky guy again. Right. 
If it's the Gorgon Shield. Oh, no. It's not. The Jabberwock. Interrupted. Hmm. That was weird interaction. It got knocked back, but I got knocked back. why having everyone having an elemental attack would be good. Wasn't really that bad. Like, you have these encounters and compared this to, like, the Mind Flayer one from Cosmo Canyon, which is just like... See you around infinitely different in how goofy they are. Those are all fine. Antifa is juiced on enemy skills now. Yeah, that's everything but Odin. But I... I need to, like, redo a ton of materia or something to try this. I realize it doesn't matter doing minus power because it's kind of like where the game puts it because full might is ridiculous it almost has double the hp at full might versus uh power minus three but we have a lot of other side questy stuff to do and i'll have to you made short work of that simulation I need to try to figure out um i hope you won't mind my mention some build stuff i've later. observed that world intel collection is stalled of late I'm certain, however, a Chad veteran Lee. mercenary like you would never abandon a task. I know you must Chad be busy, Lee. but I'd appreciate your help. Hey. <laughs> anyway, chocolate racing? Something to, you know, take the edge off? Change things up? You prepared to undertake the final trial? Absolutely. Chocobo armband. Hmm. Dude, tell me his onesie is on sale somewhere. <laughs> Oh, it's actually a full-on race. Okay. In 
intelligence slightly increases the speed if placed seventh or lower. Lessens how much you slow down when running on water. Absolute mess, but if it's a 1v1 race. <laughs> oh, those are not ramps. I thought I was going to ramp up that. Weird timing. Oops. This water bubble on me is really weird. Yeah, it was fine. I don't want to mess up on the last lap, otherwise I would have improved my speed each time, which is pretty natural. Of course, I've seen the course. Look, my ever loving feathers. That was one hell of a performance. If I didn't know better, I'd say this wasn't your first rodeo. Surprise. Well, shoot. <laughs> you got me good. And once you start tearing up the track out there, the racing world will blame me for letting you loose. A promise is a promise, sir. Please tell me more about my dad and Uncle Sam. Hmm. All right then. What do you want to know? Let's see. They couldn't have been much older than you are now. The two of them came and asked me to take them under my wing. Turned them down, seeing as I'd already retired. But they hung around the grounds anyway. Since they had nothing better to do, I put them to work. And that's how it all began. Well, wasn't nothing out of the ordinary, I'd say. Ran some errands, did some repairs, helped around the house. You know, your standard training regimen. 
And in their downtime, they took it upon themselves to dig through my library, learning about chocobos and how to handle them. Came to differing conclusions. They used to argue something fierce. I can't say the two of them got on terribly well. I figured. Will and Sam had mighty strong opinions about how to best raise chocobos, and it drove them to fight with their words and with their fists. That said, only reason those two fought as hard as they did is because they both cared deeply about the cause. As far as passion is concerned, the two of them were birds of a feather. Okay. Hmm. How you feel now? Managed to sort out the mess inside? Uh, uh, what do you mean? When we first met, I saw the way your eyes were brimming with anger. I knew right then and there that what you needed wasn't teaching or training. What you needed was time. Time to look deep inside yourself and clear out all the wickedness and spite that have been haunting your heart. Which is why you had him clean out the pool? <laughs> exactly. I don't know what happened to your father after he left this place. And I can understand why you'd want to beat old Sam in a race. Few things feel better than sticking it to someone who did you wrong. But that being said, you should never use your birds as tools for revenge. Ask yourself, why did I decide to start raising chocobos? I guess... I guess it's because I saw how happy those birds made my mom and dad. How they'd smile. The chocobos brought us a lot of fun, and brought us together as a family. I guess that's why. Good enough. The why is important, so don't forget yours. <laughs> I reckon Sam's got his eyes on the gold cup. Keep yours unclouded by hatred, and you'll do fine. Thank you, sir. Thanks for everything. I'm gonna head back to the saucer. Make sure our birds are ready for the big race. Don't worry about putting your name in. I'll take care of it. All you need to do is show up and win. Hmm. Thanks for everything. I'm gonna head back to the saucer. Make sure our birds are ready for the big race. Don't worry about putting your name in. I'll take care of it. All you need to do is show up and win. I wonder how many of the Chocoba Cups got unlocked. No losing to anyone else, you hear? Can't have you dragging my good name through the mud. <laughs> Can you jump in? Yes. Oh, there's a whole bunch right here, actually. Can't summon your trickle here, then? No. Oh, no, that's right. She wears this. Wait, why didn't that save to a... That's weird. It had me updating her world setup instead of her race setup? Why would it do that? I guess it was toggled to world, I suppose. But then I also used that. Weird. Hello to Stora. Ah, oh, I jumped in the pool again. <coughs> jump right in the pool.
Definitely the last few are going to be the hardest to find, huh? We need six more. Found him. Where do you think these ones are off to? I guess Proto Relic. I'm not going to forcibly push him, but I will try to move him along a little bit faster. I don't think this helps, though. Maybe it doesn't. I gotta say, this is really bumming me out. Well, what is? These black robes. They all smell the same, more or less. Because of the Mako, you think? Could be, but I doubt it. Their scent is, I don't know, heavier? To me, a person's scent is one of their most defining features, but all these guys smell almost identical. Hey, what do I smell like? You smell like you. Simple as that. And me? <laughs> what? What? Do I smell like rotten eggs or something? <laughs> this is an answer. I get that boss. No, I did not. I did a lot of other little things and did the Chocobo Sage 1v1. I will need to move some things around in my build. stifling <laughs> oh it is trust and believe hotter than a friggin oven i still can't believe they managed to cross the desert in those get-ups pretty crazy some did not all we ran into a bunch before you joined yuffie and midgar i saw my fair share when i was there too never came across them before that though now that i think about it lived next to one for a bit Yes, I figured that much out, Delphier. You have to dodge everything. find the proto relic oh i see they uh, must go and fish it out hmm. the simplest way inside would be by sea and selena's got us covered submarine yeah i'll have to do some some build assortment changes and a couple of things before going back. I just don't have enough time to do all that right now. I don't want to just sit here and get frustrated with
Oh, does it oh, does it fizzle after a little bit? I didn't know that. And that's strange. What? for our HP. <laughs> yeah, I was understanding that. What... What setting did you choose to do the summon battles at? hole in the wall over here. Never mind. No, there isn't. got that so I was wondering how it works you have to get an enemy to, to attack into it Come on. Every little bit. It's over. Yeah, there. 
So much damage from those guys, even though I feel like I'm trying to dodge every single thing they do and I just take damage. Those will be helpful. Excuse me, excuse me. Pardon me. Hmm. How these guys to get in here? Aha. Uh -huh. Stop! Ready? Cool. 
your turn. I got this. Get him. Oh wow. Is that far away? You're fine. One more shot. Come on. Finish him off. That's your move. Short on the steel thing, but whatever. Hey, Cloud? Yeah? These guys and Sephiroth are related somehow. Right. Like, connected on some really weird, deep level. Right? Seems so. Seems so? I don't have proof, just a hunch. But the more I see, the more I know I'm right. Just one more reason why we gotta put a stop to that crazy bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I didn't mean to startle you. I simply wanted to inform you that I've located more rogue individuals. Copy. Send us the coordinates. Of course, right away. I think that might do it. If you've been watching live, hope you've enjoyed it. Got a little frustrated, a little tilted earlier, I suppose, but as I was saying at the time, the game took a, a very sudden boss after boss, incredible steep difficulty curve increase out of nowhere. Everything else has been fine. All of a sudden, it's just like back to back bosses that are just ridiculous. If you've been watching on YouTube, thank you as well. If you want to watch more of this or 7 Remake or the DLC for the previous game or over 400 videos and all these RPGs I've been playing over the past couple of years, and those are all linked down below. But until then, I will see you all in the next one. I think it's time that I take some stock and uh, do a bunch of materia and gear moving. I'm learning more and more that Aerith needs more speed stat because it's so, so bad. Even though it's only 11 less than Tifa, but she has to attack so much longer to get one ATB. Gotta figure that out.